I'm gonna go over Apple because it's my favorite stock and apparently I was involved in a class action lawsuit that I did not know about until I received a check for $92.17. It's for the device performance litigation in the United States District Court for the Northern District of California. So if you haven't gotten your check, definitely look out for it. And you can also Google for more details. Apparently they've been sending out these checks and I finally just cashed mine. So let's take a look at Apple on the five minute time frame. We are at 182.52, down 1%. The day's range, 182.23 and 185.04. Again, the day's closure was at 182.52. The 52-week low, 143.90. I did buy some at, in the $149 range for myself and for my mom, but I have purchased Apple shares way below that price point, but this I did scoop up a lot then as well. The 52 week high, 199.62. The problem with Apple is this thing is a slow grinder and then it, I feel like it tends to give everything back, but this is a long-term investment for me and I am up significantly. All right, this is where we are. To the north side from where we are takes us back to the middle of the trend and the baseline where price tends to grind before either going to the upside or flushing down to the south side. 183.85 to the north side of that at resistance and a potential take profit area, 185.51. A gap forms to the upside at 186.22 and that gap fills to the upside at 186.89. And above that, 187.25. I do not anticipate price to get to this level or this gap to fill in one day on Monday. It, if this is going to fill, it's going to take a little while. To the south side, back at support where I anticipate a bounce, 182.11, 181.32, and 1840, the RSI is turning down. While I'm here, I'm gonna show you the daily turning down as well. So that's why you're thinking, why am I going down with Apple? We hit a high and then we start tanking. Just read the charts. You don't even need to listen to all the talk on the news about Apple, just read the chart. This is the high. This is for me, resistance. What happens at resistance? Price tends to fall because people get out, they take their profits, they lock in and they leave. And look at this. You could have bought it all the way back down here again, rip back up, down, and then I think we're probably hit around here for a reversal. But this is the daily, the weekly turning up, the monthly, going down so watch out for that crack to the south side obviously there are trades to be made to the upside and then possibly going back down overall let's switch this back to the five minute looking left sell off at resistance support a bounce sell off sell off These two green gaps close to the upside. This gap closed to the downside at 191.59. I will remove the price because we have hit it. I will take this out to the one hour so you can see I've tracked this many times on the way up and on the way down. Actually, let's just go to the daily and I'll give you some price targets on the daily. See here, support and a bounce all the way to resistance. There's a gap that I'm tracking that will take us down to 164.19. And then there's this gap right here. 
as well. Many gaps to the south side. So if you think it's run, it's coarse, and it's too expensive for you now, just wait. It'll get cheaper. That will take us down to 160. And then this one I've tracked for a very long time will take us to roughly, I don't think that's close. I have to clean that up and I'll look at it on a different time frame to see it. So back down to 145. This is what Apple does. It gives up everything it gains and then it repeats itself. So it, it can get ugly, but if you know when to get in and when to get out, if this is not a long-term trade for you, many opportunities to make money to the upside and to the downside. All right, we are right here, very close to support. On the daily, that takes us to 177.94. The middle of the trend takes us back to 198.50. And two standard deviations will take us to this pink line, which is an old price target from stock analysis to 1974 and according to trading view our one year price target is 199.86 which represents a 9.5% return from where we are and then after that 250 i mean all these other stocks microsoft nvidia facebook they all have hit 250 tesla and run like crazy not apple it's the slowest moving stock but when it does move it's like a miracle. It really is. I've been in this trade for so long that <laughs> it's just frustrating. It just needs to rip and stay up there, just like the other big cap names. It does not happen for Apple. It's very frustrating. All right, that does it for me. That's a look at Apple on the basically five minute time frame with a breakdown on the daily. But I like to track to give you guys price action on the five minute. And just in the last few days, we have been going down in this channel, but overall on the five minute, we are in an upward channel. So if we continue this upward movement, this gap will eventually close. And then of course it'll whip us out. Have a great week weekend, everyone.